Hi guys and welcome back. Finally we could say after a bit of a longer break. Today on the table we have only two simple things like that and the reason for this is very easy. Today we are taking a look at a brand new prototype from Orca Torch. This is a light which has yet been released, although it is not being sold yet. So you cannot buy this light anywhere yet. It is soon to come out, but that's definitely one of the reasons why we're taking a close look at it today. Just be aware that if you're buying this light, of course in the future point in time, don't expect that the light will be exactly the same. There might be minor changes or minor changes which will be happening in the process. That's why we also don't have a package yet, we don't have the accessory list, what will, add, what will be joined in the light. We only have the light, the battery and some of the small things which are always included. Of course a lanyard, we have a USB Type-C cable which we will need for this battery, coming to it in a minute, and of course also a spare set of O-rings. This is very important on each and any kind of light. Now the light itself is I would say a big step forward in what light manufacturers have been doing for the last years. It's the first light I see with this kind of size which lays easily in my hand without having a double or triple kind of battery without using the thick 26650 batteries and still carrying a single LED and being stronger than those standard 1000 1200 lumens. So here we have a light with an output of 1700 lumens and still we have kind of a good runtime for a simple reason. They also made a step up in terms of batteries. Here we are using the 21700 new type of lithium ion battery. And just for a quick comparison, I brought you some 18 and 26650 batteries. These are the batteries we've been using more than standard over the last few years in most diving torches, best lithium ion types for recharging and also of course the most used ones. <clears throat> now what you will see for sure is first of all the 21700 is a lot longer. It's a bit thicker than the 18650 and it's not as thick as the 26650. Now this is a big advantage. You have quite a lot more capacity than the smaller one, but it's not as thick as the big one. And this is one of the things I wasn't enjoying until today on the thick type of batteries. When you have a torch which works with the 26650s, you always kind of have the feeling it's a very thick torch. And on this one, which runs on the 21700, you don't have this feeling. So I'd rather have a light which is a little bit longer, but not as thick. And this is exactly what the kind of uh, 21700 battery, the kind of feeling it will give you, because you have a light which is a bit, a battery which is a bit longer, and it doesn't make your light so thick. In terms of capacity, it is very similar to the 26650s with its 5000 milliamp hours. Now there is one back draw and one, one bad thing about the battery, which is if you have some standard charges, no matter which kind of charger, universal charger, I have one very bad news. This slide, or this battery, sorry, is a little bit too long for the standard kind of chargers. They will not fit in. I've tried a few chargers, also a few bigger universal chargers out I've been using uh, over the last years and this doesn't fit into any of them. I have seen some new on the market where they also, besides the 18, the 26650s and all of those other batteries, they can also carry a 21700. The only thing they will have to do is just make it a little bit longer and also let the slider go a bit further back. And it's not a big thing, but there definitely needs to be more space. Also these small single slot, now this is definitely too small because it's only for an 18650, but still you can see in terms of length, there is no way this thing is fitting in. So this is just for you to have in mind if you are planning on buying a battery like this. Now the big advantage on this kind of battery from Orca Torch is that they have again adopted the USB charging way, so you have a small <clears throat> inlet, in this case already for the new USB Type-C, which is also a good step forward until before they were only using the micro USB ones. So this is quite nice and it has an indicator LED in the actual positive pole. It uh, lights up in blue as well as red for charge and in charging progress. Now I'm going to open up the light and you can already see that this nice design as usual Orca Torch has been doing for the last years looks great even on this light. We have a nice head, we have this kind of cooling fins they've been using, I like it because it's nicely standardized and you can recognize it. And most of all they kept using this orange silicone or rubber band and this really makes their lights recognizable. In terms of O-rings, you can see this light carries three O-rings, well spaced between the O-rings and the thread, so there will be no O-ring cutting when opening and closing the light. And of course, also looking inside, you have a beautiful driver, and something I've been enjoying a lot on their lights too, is that you have a separate battery tube. So in here, it's going to be very hard to see in the camera, but this tube, which brings the negative pole from the battery to the driver in this case, is not the outside light. 
um, aluminium part. So it's not the same part. They are, they are completely um, separated and there is no energy, no, in this case, electricity passing over the back aluminium part. This is very good to prevent galvanic corrosion in case there is some kind of electricity flowing. I have had some lights with some holes inside. So this is a very good step up. Now the light, the battery gets placed negative wise first, always the positive to the driver and you're gonna close the light all the way. This light, as you can already see, doesn't have any switches, yeah? It has a simple on-off switch by opening and closing the light. Now, something I really enjoy on this light, and this is something I also really enjoyed on the older model, very similar in design, the D530, is that you have a beautiful and very narrow spot. Now, it's maybe a bit hard to say on the camera because it's very, very, in terms of um, brightness, very bright, but I'm just gonna try to move the camera so you can see the kind of spot we have and like this you can actually perfectly see the spot it's nice and narrow and it's a beautiful small spot and I actually love this on this kind of light so this is something very good and something very nice mainly if you're going diving during the day because all the spill around is good for a wreck or for a night dive but if you're diving during the day and you have an object which is which is further away than just one or two meters you will only be seeing the spot and this is something I also enjoyed a lot on the D530 it has a really nice and small punctual spot. Now of course as you have an on off switch by rotating you don't have any modes and you also don't have a power indicator but therefore you have one less thing where there might be water coming in or any else or any other thing so it's definitely very sturdy and a very well made light. There is one thing I missed spotting out and that's why I'm saying it now in the front part yeah, all the way in the front of the light we have a thread this thread is made for filters so you can use filters with 30.5 millimeter thread on them so you can use colored filters I personally never needed one never used one but there are quite a lot of people using them and like this you have the option of adding on an accessory like a filter this might be interesting mainly if you're diving in let's say in lights where the, the proper water is very greenish very not I'm gonna Gonna say bluish but this happens most in the green parts and you want to use it together with a camera of course you're not going to use it mostly with a spotlight this happens more in the video lights but still many people use them together and there you can make a nice play by using a um, bluish cyan filter on the light and you don't gonna or you're not gonna have so much reddish on the video you will only have light and you will have the real colors but this is something for another video basically so guys, I think we've been talking enough about the light. Let's just jump into the water and let's see how the D700 from Orca Torch will perform in the actual underwater diving environment. And therefore, I got you guys a nice and beautiful wreck dive. Alright guys, so I hope you could get a better idea on how the Orca Torch D700 performs in the water. Therefore we have this nice rack dive, so I hope you enjoyed that. And two or three things I like to point out always are a bit of a pros and cons. So I really enjoyed that they stepped up from the standard 1000, 1200 lumens up to something stronger. Definitely a good point. I like that they stepped up to the 21700 battery. Similar size, a little bit longer, but a lot more capacity. And also something I always enjoy in Orca Tortoise models. And if you take a look, and again, the D530, they look so similar that you can tell them apart from every other model on the market. So this is something I really like on those lights. 
maybe one negative point but this always depends on the user some actually like this a lot some will say oh it doesn't have a switch i don't have a power indicator this is a definitely a positive or a plus point yes it is but some people just like to have this on and off thing and they don't want to have an additional uh, well we could say an, an additional hole in the actual body of the light so for those people it's a perfect light and there is one thing i actually want to tell you in regards to this type of um, switching system is that if you have the light closed and on and you want to turn it off if you just give it enough that it's off over water once you take it underwater and you go diving to a certain depth the water pressure will start to push the two parts together and you will see the light coming on to prevent this all you have to do is before the dive just instead of giving it just like this much of a turn just give it about a quarter of a turn like this there is no way the light is coming on and you are safe that the light won't come on and use itself out during the dive in a pocket for example guys i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed the light itself because for me this is a very nice brand new light soon to come out and i hope to see you guys soon again on my channel i wish you all a safe and fun dive